Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. Um, today I'm going to be Let's Playing Beyond Good and Evil. Uh, I don't really have many subscribers yet, so nobody would have noticed, but I had one up earlier. It just wasn't really up to my standards. So we're going to jump into this again. Uh, sorry if I seem a little bit out of it. I've had a major headache all day. But... The war has arrived at the gates of Hillis. This peaceful mining planet in System 4 is now completely encircled by the Dom's Armada. General Keck, Supreme Commander of the Alpha Forces, would like to take this opportunity to address a final message to the population. Loyal Hillians, the impending battle will be a difficult one, but thanks to the Alpha Section... When it's important plot stuff like this, I'm ge generally just going to let the game talk. Because it does an amazing job. I, I love this game so much. This is Beyond Good and Evil, by the way. Um, it came out in 2002. I was extremely hyped. I mean, look at this visual. I mean, for a 2002 game, this is absolutely stunning. Um, I was so hyped for this when it came out in 2002. I was reading in a, a magazine about how awesome this game would be. But then when it came out, I couldn't find it. Because I didn't know about GameStop or any place like that. Got my... Oh man. They're coming. It's just normal weather, right? Doesn't look like it. By the way, this is our heroine, Jade. I love those little snapshot things, the little black and white can photos. Yes! We're saved! No way this will go wrong. Crap. What is it? Oh, come on. Oh god, is this a game about money management? Because if it is, I'm screwed. By the way, that place isn't important at all. Oh god, this is a lot, a lot worse than the hail we had last week. And... do... what? I guess get hit by a giant meteor. Oh, no, they didn't get hit, but... Okay. Oh god, they've been captured. And... Zombify? I don't know, but this doesn't seem right to me. But I've got a stick. And... Something that tells me to fight me today! That seems to work, and I guess I can eat things, but I don't need to eat things any right now. And I guess those yellow hearts must be my health. Get out of the way, kid. I don't want to hit you with this fire. I'm gonna dodge with X, even though we haven't learned that yet. <laughs> and slow motion. Because this is real... Prime fighting right here. Well, it's it's nice to look at, but there's really nothing to it as far as fighting goes. Press A, press A, X to dodge, press A, press A, press B if you lose some health. That's what that's what it is, by the way. Yeah, I couldn't get to school today, so. Oh, and this is totally not hentai. It really isn't, but... Ubisoft isn't really in the business for making that. I don't understand Klingon. But anyway, kind of down. I went to Pax East over the weekend, and... Oh, hey, this is our Uncle Paige, coming to rescue the day! Again, the candid photos. Must be important. Saving the day. Alright, you don't really use this move that often. But, whatever, they're, they're getting explanations out of the way now. It's, it's fine. No, no, don't... Stop the... I don't want you to flip, I want you to do the like, Joe thing, whatever. Like that. Yeah, and then kick his ass. But anyway, 
went to PAX East over the weekend, and on the way up, uh, my car started sounding like a motorcycle, which isn't generally a good thing when you're driving a car. So, we took it easy, and when we got back, I had my stepdad check it out, and it turns out the catalytic converter broke off the muffler or something like that. And it'll take like seven or eight hundred dollars to fix. So I can drive. I. C it's not dangerous, but I couldn't really drive my car to school today, so I stayed home to bring you guys this. And we got our first pearl. Oh, look at it, purifying. So nice. Talk to Paige quick. No, don't. No, no. no uh, yeah. I wanted to talk to Paige. Oh well. The only thing he really tells us is his data. I guess it's currency. In our little PDA hip pack thing. I don't know, it's cool. It's your start menu, by the way, as well. And for some reason, he's Spanish. Bueno, yet, but be careful. I did a checkup on you after your fight, and I noticed something got inside your psycho karma. What does that even mean? Yeah, I get to move around, check it out. Doesn't even look like a pearl. I mean, what is, even is this? And apparently, it's money at the Momago Garage, whatever that is. That we won't even get there until late in the game in some super secret item thing. Alpha sections. Oh, hey, yep. Thanks, thanks for the help. No need to thank me, miss. It's the Alpha Section's duty to protect all citizens of Hillis. You know what these guys always reminded me of? There's this one episode of Invader Zim, um, where this little girl, Mufi, uh, the, a Girl Scout selling Ninja Girl cookies gets stuck in the ground, and there's these police guys in rescue outfits that come to help take her out. They've got these, they've got these huge, um, what are they called? They've got, damn, let's move back a little. They've got the huge suits that you can see here at the top, but then they've got what look like boxer shorts underneath, which just the piping that they have here kind of makes me think it, think of that as well. And what is with this guy as well? Does he, is he just going to stand like that? Oh, and remember that, that's going to be important later on. <laughs> Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Thanks again for giving me a hand. To tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried, Jade. The doms are hitting closer and closer, and harder and harder. After you. Ladies first. Personally, I can't stand these newfangled elevators. We'll go up, I guess. I, I bet nobody even noticed that we got hit by this invade. Never mind. Hillis, war has once again reared its ugly head, striking the civilian population. Luckily, our elite forces have once again arrived in the nick of time. I'm coming to you live from the Southern Lighthouse Shelter. Here is where some of the children whose parents have been captured by the Doms have been taken in by two devoted and courageous Hillians. Miss, a word for our listeners. Brought to you by Fox News. Well, you guys are not what I'd call as fast as a speeding bullet. Keep doing nothing, and next time... There'll be nothing left here to say. Cut. Hey, Pop, stay zen. Don't get your snout bent out of shape. Nobody calls me boys, Pops. Pack it up. Yeah, as you can see, we're not... Holy shite. Thanks, Paige. If it wasn't for you, I... Did they just... I... Okay, they just took off and, and just aimed their thrusters at us. Wouldn't that... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I wonder why she's passing out. Could it be that she just got roasted? Nah, never. Ooh, I just... <sighs> but yeah, I can't legally drive my car right now, so either I've got to get a new one, or I've got to borrow one of the family's cars. I don't know. It's just really inconvenient. We're sitting ducks for every four axe in the air. Just 
What a pessimist. Shit. You faithful servant, Secundo has found the answer to your money problem. Mucho dinero. Secundo, we're stuck here. No hovercraft, no shield. Huh, that's like my house. No hovercraft, no shield. Secundo, you got an answer for me as well? Listen to this. The director, Senora from the Science Center, wants a collection of all the animals Listen to that music the in the back. She pay you dinero for any photo you send with little animal on it. Mira, that beast, for example. You take picture of it and tenga mucho Why, why is that almost a requiem? <laughs> like, I don't know if it is or anything. I'm not... I'm not that good with classic music, but it's got, like, almost this sorrowful note to it. Kind of weird. We just go to Iwo Jima, take a, a picture of um, a few men raising a flag, and boom! We have the most famous, one of the most famous photos in all of U.S. history. Why, thank you, whoever you are. And I guess I'll take it. Help if I was actually looking at what the buttons do. Alright, so we get a camera. We can take pictures of animals and stuff. And, oh, this will actually be helpful. Um, we can take pictures of maps, and that's how, basically, our map mode. So, yeah, you don't have to hold Y. Just, it's not like Pokemon Snap or anything. You don't have to get good picture. You just has to... Yep, yep, just give us our credits, or your units, or whatever. You just have to get it framed well. Yep. And you... You're all nope. safe here in the lighthouse. At least until they come. Okay, I got my camera. Gotta get the juice turned back on. Take as many pictures of animals as you can, but watch out for them borax prowling around outside. With the shield down, they come a lot closer. Yeah, but they aren't really any danger to me. Alright, I'm gonna just do a couple things quick. Get these Starkos. No, 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 no. I have no idea what they are, but... You eat them, and they return a heart, and they've got more in the fridge, even though this isn't really a fridge, because it's not closed. Oh, one more. And they've got one in the oven, or whatever, the furnace, and you can not jump towards it, but you can take it out, and you can kick this, and get another, another fly to fly out. And you can take a picture of that, too, and get more credits. Yay! Thank you, Jay. And I'm going to do that first because we need 350. And as soon as we take another picture, another person, uh, it's going to go into another cutscene. But I'm about to run out of time, so I'm going to do that cutscene uh, next time. So for now, I'm just going to walk outside, give you a view of what we're looking at. Careful, Jay. I've actually never come out of here before getting the shield up. That's interesting. Huh. Well, they don't seem to be attacking me or anything, but... Uh, I don't know, it's interesting. Alright, that's all for today. Um, so, this is the first episode of Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil, and this is OXFU. Next time we will hopefully finish the lighthouse and see what that thing op is over there and see what we can do with these pearls. Alright, take it easy guys.